Burgess. Tonight, tropical storm watches are in effect for parts of Texas and Mexico. This is a tropical disturbance now forecasted to likely become the Atlantic hurricane season's first named storm. And 10 Tampa Bay meteorologist Natalie Ferrari joins us right now. Natalie, there's another potential disturbance we're also keeping our eyes on. Yeah, there's also some activity in the Atlantic I've been watching very closely. That one is a lower potential of development, but it could actually be the reason we get a little bit more moisture in the Sunshine State later this week. But for now, the first named storm of the season will likely be this disorganized area of low pressure. It is becoming more organized in the southwestern Gulf of Mexico tonight. And the reason it gets this potential tropical cyclone name is because it's not quite organized enough to officially be a tropical storm, but it is forecast to impact land within 48 hours. And between now and then, it likely will turn into a tropical storm. And once that happens, we get our first name there, which will be Alberto on the list. But also, it will be impacting the coastal portions of not only Mexico, but even southern Texas, which will be dealing with outflow moisture pushing out from this system as it moves its way into the mountains of Mexico. So this will be a short short lived storm, but something that will be something we'll have to watch out for, especially over the next couple of days within the next 48 hours at most. And you'll notice the first name storm again of the season, Alberto, that's on the list. As we make our way towards the end of June, we will likely be checking that off. So we'll be here as your hurricane headquarters, keeping you updated in the days ahead. Meanwhile, it's actually on the dry side to kick off the week, but I do have some changes. We'll talk about that in just a few minutes.